Hello friends, welcome to VSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about product cultivation and secondary agriculture. I am going to cover the top built conveyors. So which is the second part of the material handling equipments. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to I am going to give a short intro about the belt conveyors. So belt conveyors is an endless belt operating system where it can be operated with the help of two pulley over the load supporters on the idlers, uh, which was present in the belt conveyors. And the belt is said to be flat and also used for transporting materials, or else it is said to be used in V shaped in a closed circumstance. So it can be used for moving a bulk grains materials uh, from one point to another and the belt conveyor is used to have a drive mechanism and also a end-to-end -end pulley idlers and loading system and discharge devices present in them so that it can be easily able to transport grains as well as uh, some other goods from one place to another and also the belt conveyors used to have anti-fraction bearing mechanisms and also high mechanical efficiencies than any other conveyors and the material carried by belt conveyors lies still on the surface of the belt and there is no relative motion between the product and the belt we must need to remember it and uh, there is no damage to the material during the conveying process and uh, a property designed as well as maintained belt conveys have long service life and also low operation cost when compared to other conveys and uh, to have a long distance the initial cost of belt convey is to be comparatively low and also an easy one so let's see about the design now the belt conveys so the design of the belt convey is mainly based on the available space for the conveying length and conveying lift and characteristics of the material to be conveyed and the capacity required and are the major uh, things we must need to know before the designing the conveyor belt and the selection of bit uh, belt width as well as depending upon the capacity instrument seat of operation and angle of inclination of the belt conveyor trough angle and depth are the things we must need to notice in the design of the conveyor so we, uh, how can we able to see the capacity of the belt conveyor can be given by capacity per meter cube divided by uh, per hour equal to area of cross section per minute into belt belt speed uh, per meter in divided by minute into 60 uh, it's how we can able to calculate the capacity of the belt conveyor and uh, it is the picture of belt conveyor so you can able to see the idlers as well as the pulley at uh, two ends and there is also a conveyor belt where the a transition idlers can be able to support the conveyor belt in this picture and the primary cleaners so where the dust as well as the uh, minor particles can be con collected from the private cleaners and the secondary cleaner which used to clean truly uh, in this uh, one and also a transfer point where the load for the material is to be placed and so now we can able to move for uh, seeing about the different parts present in belt conveyors so first i am going to tell about belt conveyor idlers so belt conveyor idlers is said to be a largely dependent one on the belt conveying mechanism so which is used to increases the efficiency of the belt conveying system and the idlers can make accurate as well as they also use it to form a rigid framework for the belt conveyor work and they also maintain a permanent well balanced smooth running alignment in the belt conveyor or else uh, if there is an absence of idlers then they can able to be some minimum change in the belt conveying motion and also the balance is said to be shaken off so that's why the belt convey is said to be important and in general there are said to be three types of belt conveying idlers which are used for handling of bulk material so the first one is cross sectional which is said to be uh, load of belt conveys which is said to be ideal for the bulk materials and the second one is flat which is used for granular materials with an hang uh, having an angle of repose which is said to be not less than 35 degree and the flat bed idlers which are said to be preferred for low capacity requirement where the inexpensive or low cost conveying is desired and uh, it is also used for main uh, carrying out the small particles lightweight materials and light cranes 
seeds like grains and corn seeds etc in the conveying material and uh, some uh, the third type idler which is it used for carrying heavier medium sized lumps with uh, some things like crushed stone or used in belt conveying mechanisms so the next to one is cyclone separators so the cyclo separators other name are known as hydro clones and also called as liquid cleaning devices or gas cleaning devices so yeah the cyclone separators we must need to know uh, we must need to know from that it is uh, ma mainly a cleaning device and the slurry mixture is said to be cleaned is sent to the separator and the mixture moves in the circular pattern around the separator and the centrifugal flows created, uh, created by these cyclone separators use it to form a streaming um, spinning streams from heavier particle to the outer edge of the uh, outer edge um, of the material where the lighter particle remains in the carrier material and the heavier particles are removed from the separator via the lower opening and the lighter particle also carries medium exit through the vortex and uh, located at the top of the separator and so it is uh, but the cyclones are said to be very unpopular because they are no moving parts and can be wear out or break uh, after some employment and the separators which is said to be fairly simple to build and inexpensive so it is um, easily replaceable and so i have given the lecture notes in description so comment out the video and join us in the instagram page so if you like the video like it and share it to the friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos